<laughs> yes, yes. I, I, have, I have seen those. I have seen those. I have some pictures. You know, I must say, I must say that the images from what they did were absolutely incredible. And, and they just touch your heart. They are, are awe-inspiring. I've, I've never even considered looking at the building from that point of view up on the crane. And actually, I've been up on the crane on this building. We've been up and down the building for the last uh, four years. But I, I also feel that there's some fallout because of it. Now, this happened over Chinese New Year. My wife and I were in Shanghai over Chinese New Year. And what I like about Chinese New Year is the frantic pace of Shanghai quiets down to kind of a very peaceful uh, 10 days punctuated by fireworks that go on till midnight, 2 in the morning. But what happens was uh, these two Russian guys, or three, I don't know how many, broke into a construction site. A construction site is not designed to keep people out. It's designed to keep materials in. It's designed so people don't walk off with the materials that are going on the building. So there was one or two guards on the site. These Russian guys broke in. The guards lost their job, which uh, I feel bad for. That's, that's where I think that the, these guys really lost their social contract. They, they took advantage of a situation where someone lost their job. I don't think that's fair to a security guard who has to work over the major holiday in China. It happened a couple weeks later where I think some Chinese people tried to do the same thing and a couple more security guards got fired. And I think that, that's where myself will land. I, I think they shouldn't have done it. I think they, they owe reparation to the security guards because no one, no one in China would think of doing this over Chinese New Year. It had to be a foreigner. And even though the images are incredible, I still think there's a price to pay for your actions. And I think um, at the least they owe is some junior people an apology. I think when I thought about what they did, it, it really came down to, damn, how did they do it? They did it when there were no lights on the building. They walked up 120 stories of concrete stairs, and they're not all finished. They had to find their way up. Myself, I have trouble walking around that building, and I know how it works because I designed it. I know where the stairs are. They walked from the bottom to the top, 120 stories, in the dark. There were no lights on. And they walked out and didn't injure, injure themselves, which is, which is remarkable. I, I would have, you know, someone would have fallen and decapitated themselves. I don't know. It's just, damn, how did they do that?